Hi, good day. I'm Kathleen Flores, and we're gonna learn today how to program the variable frequency drive using the Danfoss VLT Automation Drive FC300 series. Since we don't have an actual local control panel, we're gonna use this simulator. So this is what the simulator looks like. This is the supply line. This is the uh, VLT automation drive. This is the potentiometer. These are the push buttons. The green one is the start push button and the red one is the top push button. This is the three-phase motor. So we do not forget to ground our motor to avoid the dangers of damaged circuits or electrical overload. So this is the motor nameplate. So let's start. So we, we're going to start by push, uh, pressing the off button. And we're going to go to main menu. Gonna proceed to uh, 14 spe special functions, and we're gonna go to the 14 2 reset functions. We're gonna, we're gonna change the 14 22 operation mode to initialization. Press OK to accept change. And we go to quick menu. Menus. So we go to number 2, quick setup. So in 0 01, language, we have here English. You can change here to your preferred language. So we have here 52 languages. You Change uh, the you can change the language according to your preference, but today we're gonna use English. So accept to accept change, always click OK. So in one dash twenty motor power kilowatts. So in order to know what you're gonna we're gonna input here, we we refer to the motor nameplate. So we have horsepower 5, 5 here. So according to the table, if we have horsepower 5, we have uh, 4.0 kilowatts. Okay. So we, okay, it's already 4.0. So we proceed to 1-22 motor voltage. So what we have here, we have 460 volts. Change this to 460. Press OK to accept change. Then 1-23 motor frequency, we have 60 hertz. Change this to 60 hertz. Press OK. Then proceed to 1-24 motor current. So we have 6 here, but in order to know the motor's full load current, we need to multiply the current by the service factor. So 6 multiplied by 1.15 is 6.9. So we have 6.9 amperes for the motor current. So 1-25 motor nominal speed, we have 3,450 RPM. So we have 3,450 revolutions per minute. Press OK to accept change. Then the ramp up time and the round down time are 
just the same they have 15 seconds Okay, motor 4 11 motor speed low limit is 0 rpm 4 13 motor speed high limit we have 3450 rpm it's so, okay to accept change so main menu we go to main menu and we go to we proceed to digital input output. So we proceed to 5 1 digital inputs. We're going to change the 5 10. Terminal 18 digital input. We're going to change that to latch start. Okay, then the 5 5 12 terminal 27 digital input. We, we're going to change that to Tap inverse. Press OK to accept change. OK, then we're gonna go to analog input output. So 6-1, six, six analog input 53. Only gonna change here the 6-15 terminal 53 high reference feedback dash Feedback value, so we're going to change it to 3450. Press OK to accept change. Then we go to the number 3, preference dash ramps, slash ramps. So we go to the reference limit. Go. We're going to change it to 3-03, maximum reference. So, to, we're going to change it to 3450. Press OK to accept change. Okay. I guess that's it. So, we're going to click status and and press auto on so it's that easy right all right so that's how you you program the variable frequency drive using the danfoss vlt automation drive and lcp simulator so i hope you learned something Stay safe. Bye.